Mama's Cantonese steamed fish is the one dish we can't do without all year. Today I'll be showing you a recipe that you can make with any of your favorite fish. Mama ye sekfan, mami de di sekfan, ba me an gum. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and here at Walking Kin, I share my childhood recipes so you can reconnect with yours. If you have many memories of this dish and don't know how to steam the fish like your family used to, this recipe is for you. To start, descale your fish at home. We got fresh silver perch and asked the fishmongers to clean and gut it for us first. At home, you can also use scissors to remove the fins, gills, and part of the tail. Then cut 20 grams of ginger into thin strips. Do the same with one stalk of spring onion. A full list of these ingredients can be found at walkinkin.com where we share step-by-step -step instructions so you can cook this recipe at your own pace. Now put the cleaned fish on a steam safe dish and spread the ginger strips on top. Set up the steamer on high heat and once hot, place the fish in to steam for 15 minutes or until just cooked. Meanwhile, combine two tablespoons of light soy sauce with one and a half teaspoons of sugar, three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of oil. Heat it up on the stove until the sugar has dissolved. Once the fish is cooked, take the dish out and pour the excess liquid into the sink. Lay the spring onions on top of the fish and heat up four tablespoons of oil to smoking point. Pour the hot oil over the spring onions, then pour the sauce around the fish. To finish, garnish everything with coriander. And there you have it, Mama's Cantonese steamed fish, a family style dish that we love to eat at home and at restaurants. If you want to learn how to debone it restaurant style, Dad will show us the serving techniques. You'll need a spoon and a fork. Weave the spoon between your ring, middle and index fingers. Then hold the fork between your index finger and thumb. This setup will help you grab food and scoop sauce like Chinese waiters would. To debone the fish as you would see in a restaurant, start by removing the head and pushing the garnish to the side. Then use the spoon and fork to cut a line through the body's length. Move the meat aside and scoop the bone out. Once removed, place the meat and garnish back onto the body and scoop sauce over to season. It's all about pouring the sauce over the fish and rice, what our family calls a lo fan dish. To make the best version of this Cantonese classic, here are our tips for the best results. Number one, cook it just before eating. This is a dish that should be eaten fresh out of the steamer. Number two, use fresh ingredients. You'll get the freshest taste with every bite. Number three, keep the sauce separate until the very end. You want to taste the fish's freshness, so pour the sauce around the fish just before serving. Every time we have Cantonese steamed fish, whether it's at home or at a restaurant, it always brings our family together. Mama insists that we have the fish fresh, so everyone is gathered around the dinner table, ready for the star of the banquet. For more authentic dishes, like and subscribe to our channel. If you love this type of cooking, I've created a playlist of home-style recipes just for you. See you in the next video!